Okay, this is uh, basically going about how we're going to be g coming up into the uh, time pretty soon where, okay, we, we know that, if you, if you are aware, we know that the Most High is going to have it to where we're going to be delivered. But before we're delivered, you know, you're going to have the time of Jacob's trouble. And in the time of Jacob's trouble, everything ain't going to, everything going to be uh, peaches and cream. You're going to have, you're going to have a famine. Oh, let's go into Job. Job chapter 5 verse I'm going to start at 20. Nope, I got to start at verse 19. Job 5 and 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Now, who is this talking about? This is talking about the righteous. It ain't talking about all of Israel. Well, actually, yeah, it's talking about all of Israel. Romans 9 and 7. They're not all Israel, which are all of Israel, because you got Israelites that are just straight up Gentiles, and they and they Gentiles. Verse nineteen again, he shall deliver thee in six troubles; yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. So this is talking about Jacob. Verse twenty, in famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the sword. So this is, we're going to be saved by the missile, but we're going to be saved because guess what? We're going to be hungry. We're going to be famished. And guess what? We're going to stumble upon some food. But the most side has somebody to uh, give us food or be, if it rains uh, manna from heaven, the most side is going to provide it. Verse 21, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Why? Because guess what? You got that hedge around you. What gives you that hedge? When you keep the laws at your commandments and you come close to God and you love him. You got that hedge of protection around you. Because guess what? Now you're righteous. Even then, all our righteousness still is filthy rags. But guess what? That most High puts that hedge around us because you now we being protected. We being preserved. Verse 22. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Why? Destruction and famine, because you're going to be protected. Now, this is real quick. This is a Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 3. Proverbs 10 and 3. Yahweh will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. Did uh did 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 Yahusha die of starvation? Did David, Peter, Moses, Elijah, uh uh let me think of uh uh Paul, did these men die of starvation? No. You got some prophets, sometimes most I can have a prophet where it beheaded. John the Baptist was beheaded. We already know that in uh, Revelations, talks to John said, I saw the souls of them who were beheaded because they were martyrs for the witnesses of Yahweh Shai. They didn't die from starvation. We're going to laugh at that. And for the brothers who who is this their lot, you know, you know, uh, Yahweh willing, you know, if I am, if I'm not, you know, of course you don't want to be it, but hey, the most I knows what trials and tribulations specifically I need to go through in order to be purified. So damn it, if that I got to be beheaded, hey, so, so it is what it is. You know, but the brothers who are going to be beheaded, the most I 
are going to have it to where they're going to be cussing this devil out. We don't have to worry about what we're going to say to this devil. We're going to be cussing. We're going to be in the spirit. Hey, and I, I believe we ain't even going to feel pain if we ever that. Man. But but famine, we ain't, we ain't about to we ain't about to die of hunger or starvation. That's that's for these, you know, these these little nigglets, these little two thirds. Hell, you got some two thirds that might not, you know, die from hunger. They might, you know, just straight up, you know, have enough food. Or maybe they resorting to cannibalism. But guess what? They get shot down or killed by the sword, which is the modern day gun. Or they preserve it all the way to the, to the uh, ICBM. You know, there's, there's a, there used to be a TV show on uh, what was it, Spike TV, A Thousand Ways to Die. <laughs> well, hey, it's uh, seven ways to die. You know, there's, you know, there's going to be uh, people who are, you know, killed by the uh, ICBMs. People that's going to be killed by pestilence. You know. All types of ways, you know, you can die. Uh, this is Isaiah 65 and verse 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, Elohim, behold, my servants shall eat. Who are his servants? The one that are doing the work. The harvest is great. The laborers are few. The harvest is, are the elect. The laborers are those doing the, doing the work. <laughs> Excuse me. Laborers are those laboring, doing the work. Out on the highways, byways, and the hedges. Behold, my servants shall eat. What? You're going to physically eat. Why? Because we spiritually ate. We spiritually ate. Ate this roll. You know, we didn't spit out the bitter part. We ate this whole roll. But ye shall... But ye shall be hungry. Why? Actually, they're gonna be hungry. Actually, of, 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 of physical famine, and they're gonna be hungry for the word too. Yes. Let me get it uh real quick in uh, Amos. Amos, the eighth chapter. And. I, also, I, you just you just get impressed sometimes how the spirit works. You're not planning on going here. This is Amos chapter eight, verse eleven. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. So there's going to be a famine in the land of hearing the words. You're not going to be able to see the prophets. Prophet's not going to be out on the streets and just you can just go downtown and just find your prophet down on Woodward or on State Street or uh, insert any other street out here in Babylon because we be providing spiritual food. But guess what? You gonna have some people that guess what? They they not they they gonna be hungry spiritually and hungry physically. This is talking about actually physical food. But it's why? Because they didn't spiritually eat. You, 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 you spiritually eat, you're, you're going to be carnally full. If you spiritually don't eat, then carnally your, your, your ribs going to be touching. Everyone on a 16-day, 17-day fast, and you can't involuntarily where you can't get no food guess what service of the most high they're going to eat but ye shall hung ye shall be hungry behold my servant shall drink but ye shall be thirsty man needs bread and water we need food to sustain us as we in this these these uh these chains we're angels in chains in this flesh we need food to sustain ourselves need nutrients to give us power and energy 
but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Why are they going to be rejoicing? They're going to be rejoicing because the heavenly father has sent his son, his only begotten son, the lamb of the lamb of God to come back and redeem his people. So we're going to be rejoicing. We're going to be rejoicing when we see Tanker Street. Man, I, rem I can't, you know, recall any brother that was actually sad when when stuff was getting shut down there was some brothers that was a little shaken you know like i don't know what's going to happen to me you know what was what's going on but no brother was actually man i i i, I can't it was women that was well, a lot of women that was depressed men too but they were depressed they had to stay at home man i'm telling you ain't nobody about to be sad and upset through all this BS that's going on. And I'm, I'm so glad the most I got me out of the nursing home when I was there. Because nursing homes, they was, they was one of the main people trying to uh, force that that shot in you. You know, I was working at a nursing home. The most I took me out. You know, I was able to dodge, what was it, a tetanus shot or a flu shot or some shot that they had. I used a religious exemption, you know. You know, telling how it would have panned out for me trying to use a, a religious exemption for the uh, the Divock juice. Well, I'm glad the Most High took me out out of that. You know, that's a blessing. You know, so the, the Most High, he, he gonna he gonna hold us down. All we gotta do is you know keep striving forth. And part of striving forth is get, eating this whole road. The law, the prophets, everything, the wisdom literature, historical accounts, all of this is to help us to get better. On that note, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakodash, that belongs to the elders of GMS Well. Peace, salutations, and shalom.